These are the top 10 Airbnbs to visit in 2021. Let's get the show on the road. to get the ball rolling and in no particular order. This is an insane two-story ultra luxury treehouse located in upstate New York. On the exterior, there is a 80 foot suspension bridge that leads up to the treehouse. And then in the backyard, there's a lot to see. There are these giant reflecting windows. There's a 50 foot waterfall and this beautiful fire pit area. Now, if we head on inside, it's a very open floor plan, a very high end and luxurious kitchen with top of the line appliances and amenities. There's also a fireplace and a very nice living room area, which looks out into the backyard yard in the waterfall and then upstairs there is one bathroom there are two bunk beds and then there is the master bedroom which again looks out over the beautiful waterfall before i go any further just note down in the video description i'm gonna link out to all of these listings on airbnb in case you want to look at them in more detail or potentially book them i'm also going to link out to my full video tours that i've done on all 10 of these properties so be sure to pause or just check the video description at the end of watching this video. Now for the second property, we're going to head up to New Hampshire to this beautiful picture perfect A-frame cabin. It's off grid and the owners actually dubbed it the G-frame cabin because they decided to bump out the lofts to put some more space up there. So it has this really cool and unique looking exterior. This is also actually a solar powered cabin and you walk about three to four minutes along this path into this field and you basically have your own private field. It's really peaceful, you can't see anybody around and it's an amazing place to disconnect. There's also a bunch of outdoor amenities like this sauna, you have a fire pit, you have a grill, and then around back you actually have a outdoor shower and a hammock. Now on the interior, you have this wood burning stove. You then also have this beautiful wall that's covered head to toe in decorations. You also have a little kitchen table and a kitchen area, your bathroom, and then the loft is up top. Next, we will head out to the state of Utah to check out this absolutely insane two-story ultra modern container home. This container home was constructed from six 40 foot long containers and it has about just under 2000 square feet of living space. The place is absolutely massive and it comes with four bedrooms and three bathrooms, including this stunning master bedroom and in suite master bathroom. My favorite space in this container home though would have to be the massive game room on the second floor. It has so much to do, everything from billiards to foosball to air hockey. It's the perfect place to entertain or hang out with family and friends. The last thing I'll mention is the location of this container home is perfect. It is right in between Bryce Canyon and Zion National Park, which if you haven't heard, are two absolutely gorgeous national parks, which are ripe with hiking trails and tons of activities to do if you choose to visit Utah. For our first tiny house in this video, we're gonna head up to the Catskills Mountains region, about three hours outside of New York City. This entire property is called Bellfire Farm, and this is their new tiny house, and the owners had stargazing in mind when they built it. The tiny house is set out in this field on 10 acres, and it has a six foot skylight right above the bedroom, which is perfect for just laying in bed and looking up at the stars. It also has this really cool fire pit area, and if we go inside, you can tell it's a very open floor plan. Not only is there some world-class interior design inside this tiny house, but I also loved how functional it was. You can set up the table just like this. There are also these two swinging chairs that you could take down from the ceiling, and it makes for an incredibly relaxing way to start your morning, just laying in one of these chairs and looking out into the field with your morning coffee and tea. It just simply can't be beat. 
This next Airbnb property has a lot of history to it. It's located on a fourth generation 270 acre farm up in Vermont, and it's a renovated schoolhouse that has a ton of luxurious amenities. Definitely very unique, and it was also featured in Airbnb's magazine. My favorite feature by far was definitely the incredible outdoor space right next to the schoolhouse. It has a fire pit. It has a hot tub with expansive mountain views in the background, a sauna and an outdoor shower. The interior has a very wide open floor plan. The living room, kitchen and dining room table area are all in the same space. And I absolutely love just the interior design, the decorations, the furnishings, just it all really made me feel like I was on a farm, which you are. There is one bathroom, a downstairs bedroom, and up top there's actually a loft, which has an extra bedroom for you. Overall, if you live in the Northeastern United States or you plan on visiting anytime soon, I highly, highly suggest checking out this lovely schoolhouse up in Vermont. Now we'll move a few hours west to actually go back to upstate New York. We're gonna go back to the same property of the ultra luxury treehouse because that same owner has actually built this magnificent A-frame cabin that has one really hidden unique feature. We'll get to that feature in just a second, but for starters, the front facade of the A-frame is absolutely breathtaking. There's a little deck out front. And if you actually then walk around, you go to the backyard, there's some more yard space and another other fire pits as well. Next, we'll head on inside to the interior. The first area we'll come to is the kitchen. All top of the line appliances, stainless steel, really nice stuff. And directly opposite of that is the bathroom with this nice sink and shower. We'll now walk into the main living room area. You have this one wall that's basically covered in its entirety with this beautiful window. It's absolutely stunning. That's why I love A-frames. You have these high arch ceilings everywhere you look. You also have this fireplace in the corner, this comfy couch. It's a lot of fun stuff to do here and just beautifully designed. But now we'll head on up top to the loft. This is the cozy loft bedroom setup, but that main kind of unique hidden feature I just have to point out is you're going to hop onto the bed. It looks like a garage door opener, actually. You're going to punch in a code and ladies and gentlemen, yes, this is a roll out bed. It literally rolls out on top of an outdoor deck and you can just lay in bed and watch the stars with that special someone. Just such a unique and just interesting idea. I've never seen this in any other Airbnb, home, or real estate listing ever. If you're enjoying the video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and also share this video with the person you normally travel with, any of your travel companions or buddies, family, friends. There's a lot of amazing Airbnbs on this list. I think some great ideas for future trips for you all. So please share the video, get it out there more, and also consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I plan on hitting a ton more unique Airbnbs, hotels, and unique properties all over the world in 2021 so be sure to subscribe to not miss out on a single weekly upload. Now back to our top 10 list, we're gonna head back over to Bellfire Farm in Roxbury, New York, but this time to check out their luxury glamping TP. There definitely aren't too many teepees available to rent on Airbnb, so definitely snag this chance for a unique stay. The teepee is located right in the woods, right in the forest, next to the tiny house that we toured earlier on in the video. Situated right next to a babbling brook, we have this really cute fire pit area and a hammock, but now let's head on inside to the teepee. The main feature for me was definitely the wood stove. It goes all the way up top and out the roof and just such a magical setup I just can't describe enough in words just how perfect and what a great memory it was to just have the crackling wood stove and just being inside of a teepee. Such a cool experience. I also thoroughly enjoyed the interior design, all the decorations. You can tell the host put a lot of time and effort to design this place. She didn't just buy a bunch of stuff on Ikea or Amazon or Etsy. Almost all the stuff you see inside here she designed herself or it's locally sourced. Next up, we're gonna head to a location we have yet to explore. We're gonna head to Southern Maine to stay in this tiny eco-friendly tree house. I am a huge fan of tree houses and this tree house is no exception. I think the exterior is super cool and unique. I love those big windows. It has a long spiral staircase that leads up top. There's also some really nice outdoor amenities. You have your fire pit and this huge hot tub. And did I mention it's less than a 30 second walk to your own private dock on this little pond. Just 
perfect. Now on the inside, you have a big table. You can actually enjoy a movie at night. It has a movie projector. You then have your kitchen off on this one end, has everything you might need. It's a fully stocked kitchen and your bathroom is directly opposite of the kitchen. There are then two bedrooms in this tree house. This is the downstairs bedroom. There's also another bedroom up top in the loft. I honestly could not decide which bedroom to sleep in. They're both super cool and unique. We'll now head back to the West Coast to California, specifically to the Big Bear Lake area. It's about two hours east of Los Angeles, and this is Whiskey Ridge Chalet. This is the last A-frame cabin in this video. I know you guys love A-frame cabins. They were by far my most viewed type of videos on the channel. The cabin is located at the end of a private cul-de-sac road, and it boasts a very sleek and black and modern exterior. When you first enter inside, you'll be welcome to what I call the great room. You have these beautiful and familiar A-frame high arch ceilings, and the main feature is by far the stunning wood burning stove that stretches all the way up the length of one of the walls. Right next to the great room, you have your kitchen, and then down the hall is the one bathroom in the cabin, and then the master bedroom is directly across the hall from the bathroom. Finally, we'll head upstairs to the spacious loft area. You have this one entertainment corner and then three extra beds, includes two twin beds and one queen bed. So definitely a great option for a family or a small group to stay here. For the final Airbnb on this list, we're gonna head to the Finger Lakes region in upstate New York. There is this beautiful, I would call high-end and luxury tiny house that's also located right down the road from the owner's vineyard and their main house. I love this tiny house, not just because of the breathtaking white exterior, but also the location. It's directly across the street from the lake and just a two minute walk will take you to the owner's private lakefront cabana. You can cook up some meals here or just enjoy reading a book in the porch or out on your own private dock. Now for the interior, this tiny house is just under 300 square feet and I think it makes great use of the space. In this one corner, you have a TV, a fireplace, and then also there's a pull out couch in this space. So this tiny house can actually fit up to four people. Next, you have this really well stocked kitchen. And if you continue to walk back, you have your little bathroom back here. And then all the way in the back, I probably describe this as like a reading nook area or a place to study or get some work done. Last but not least, then up in the loft, this is the main bedroom area. I thought I was actually pretty spacious for a loft. I had no issues there and I had a great night's sleep. Thanks so much for checking out the video guys. Don't forget to view the video description to check out any of these 10 properties on Airbnb. And also if any of these piqued your interest, I shot full video tours on all these properties on my channel. So I'll also link out to those full video tours as well. Finally, I just wanna say a big thank you if you made it this far in the video. I started this channel only about six months ago at the time of recording this, and the channel has already accumulated 1 million lifetime views. Your support truly means the world to me, and it's because of people like you watching this right now that my dreams and aspirations of becoming a full-time YouTuber is becoming more of a reality with every passing day. Thanks again for watching and talk to you in the next episode. To another tiny home video, this time up, 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 up the crazy and lose my mind. I'm gonna split this, this and talk. My bedroom and about two, 2100. <laughs> that AC is loud. This video, especially if you really enjoy if you really, own. I know you guys love A-frame cabins. I absolutely love them as well. And right here, ugh.